Oxtails are gonna take about three and a half hours, sort of long, slow cooking. You wanna brown them as much as you can on all sides. So get a little bit of color on them. It'll develop more depth of flavor in the braising juices or broth. Oxtails have a lot of connective tissue and collagen and that will break down. So they, they're very rich, which translates in that they need, they take a very long time to cook and for that to break down. That broth will become what we dress our gnocchis with. And then we're gonna throw in the onions, carrots, celery, and garlic. Just like we want to put some color on the oxtails, we want to put some color on the vegetables as well. You're going to bring out sort of the natural sweetness in the vegetables. So once your vegetables have a little bit of color on them, you're going to add a little bit of tomato, crushed plum tomatoes, and some red wine. Bring that up to a boil. We'll reduce it just to get rid of the alcohol, and it starts to thicken. And then add your oxtails back in and sort of push them down so that the vegetables move up around them. And throw a sprig of rosemary in there and then we're going to add enough chicken broth and we're just going to add enough to just barely cover them and we'll bring this back up to a simmer throw the lid on it and we're going to put it into a preheated 350 degree oven it's going to take about three and a half hours um, at that point the meat should be pulling away from the bone and almost just wanting to fall off and that, that's really what you're looking for <music> them through the food mill directly onto the work surface that I'm going to be working on. You can see the steam that's coming off of them. It's one of the things that you want to do when you make gnocchis is to allow that steam to escape. Otherwise, you're actually trapping that moisture in there. You have to use more flour. We're going to add some yolks to this. If you use the whole egg, I think it comes a little gummy. The yolks provide just a little bit more tender gnocchi. So I'm going to drizzle the egg over the potato. This is two and a half pounds of potato. I'm going to start with roughly a cup of flour, and I'm only going to add the bare minimum. The more flour you add, the heavier gnocchis are going to be. Now we want to bring this mixture together. We'll use a large spatula, but a plastic or metal bench scraper is sort of the, the tool that you would prefer for this. So I'm just going to turn this over to get that flour incorporated and distribute the yolks. And then you wanna incorporate this so you get this nice soft dough, not kneading it too much, but also enough to sort of make everything homogenous. If you see streaks of egg yolk through it, it's okay. Once we roll this out, it's gonna get distributed even further. that we can handle them and then the uh, braising juices have reduced down a little bit so we're going to pull the meat off the bones and as you're doing this you want to look for and discard any pockets of fat once you've shredded all the meat add that into braising juices and we're just going to keep that warm while we cook our gnocchis so you have a pot of water on the stove you do not want it to boil and we don't want the, the gnocchis to break down so much so you bring it just to a, a very gentle simmer What's gonna happen is the gnocchis will fall to the bottom and as they cook, they're gonna to rise to the top and sort of bob on the top and that's sort of when you know to, to take them out. I'm just gonna put butter into a bowl, some Parmesan cheese. You can put a tablespoon or so of the water that they were cooked in, just to be able to toss them around. Gnocchis are just sort of a vehicle for carrying flavor. Those oxtails just have a lot of mouthfeel to them, a lot of richness mm -hmm, to them. Mm -hmm. A little bit of chopped parsley and some cheese. I think it's a great contrast. The food highlights the wine, the wine highlights the food. That's the ideal match. And it, it, it does have really nice acidity and it's got that really good mouthfeel to it. And that's one of the reasons I think it would be a good pairing with this. I just love the fruit in it. It's very bright, very expressive, nicely textured like your dish. Mm. So the grapes ripen very, very slowly, developing this nice intensity and concentration. It's a beautiful wine. Thank you. Beautiful yes. dish. Mm -hmm.